David Grostick. All right, next up we got David Grostick from uh, Otto's MMA. He's a featherweight making his debut, a blue belt. And uh, Otto's notoriously known for their elite level jujitsu practitioners of the likes of uh, Mike Perez and others. I mean, th these guys are known for grappling, but recently they started an MMA program. So it'll be interesting to see how the transition goes. You know, I mean, a, a lot of gyms have MMA fighters, but you know, what kind of quality program have they developed? Well, not, at Illinois, not, we're, we're not really gonna find out. But it's good for this guy. He gets his first little crack at, at something right now. You know? You get to come in and show what you've been working on, at least, in, in front of your friends and family. And that's usually the hardest part. I mean, you got guys at your gym that you probably can beat. And it's like, oh, okay, I know this guy's going to be good. And now it's a whole different story, because now you don't have that comfort of the gym. Now you have that live action. It was over 1,500 people here tonight. I mean, that's a lot to have to go into. Yeah, shout out to the legendary coach, Master Barrett Yoshida. As he put it, you don't know if your jujitsu works until you've done it in an MMA fight. Exactly. And let's meet his opponent from Victory MMA. Please welcome David David Oswald fighting out a victory MMA, also making his debut. The first thing that stood out to me for this fight is David's 6'2 versus uh, his opponent, Grostick, uh, who's 5'9. Uh, the a epic cage, like we said, is really small, so it, you know, it's really difficult to control that range. A lot of times you just crash forward on the guys, you know, especially being a debut fighter and, you know, you're not used to controlling that range like, you know, a more veteran fighter is used to. So it, it'll be interesting to see if he can, um, you know, keep the space or, you know, if they end up in a dirty boxing match like the uh, main event. I will hope the dirty boxing match. That was awesome. We got a David versus David, though. Yeah, Somebody's going to have to change their name after this fight. Absolutely, absolutely. we got to go by last names. Oswald or just Rostick? You know, if I was a betting man, I'd put money on David. Yeah, bro. You can't miss with David. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I can't lose. Unless it's a draw. Touche. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for our next battle inside the epic fighting cage. This is three two minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing first, your warrior, fighting out of the law office, David P. Shapiro, San Diego criminal defense attorney's red corner. This man, the big martial artist, making his debut. He stands, fighting, nine inches tall, and weighs already 144.5 pounds. Representing Atos MMA, give it up for David Brostick. And his opponent, fighting out of the bottom focus in blue corner. This man is also making his debut. He stands, 60, two inches tall, and weighs already 144.5 pounds. Representing Victory MMA, give it up for David Oswald. Your referee is Steve Quick. Getting ready our second to last fight to get go down. These boys look ready to rock. David versus David. I've been telling about people all day about the body language. I like the body language between both of them. They both look ready to go. Neither one of them looks tentative. This would be a good scrap. Yeah, I've always been paying attention to how much they're sweating. I'm always wondering how much did you warm up, especially as a debuter. You know, I mean, you can get an adrenaline dump in the second round and have absolutely nothing left in your tank. Ooh, he forced it. Uh -oh. Ooh, quick takedown. David. 
use that chin strap to work his way back Ooh, up. Another David takedown. takes him right back down. He's armbar attempt. Watch Ooh, that up kick. Oh, you gotta watch out for those. Nice pass. Settle him down in that side control. Oswald trying to work that knee right back inside so he can get guard. Oh, uh -oh. nice sweep. Oh, oh armbar. Arm oh, tap, 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 tap. Got him. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful, Beautiful armbar. That's the one thing about amateurs, ladies and gentlemen. That because the referees are looking out for the fighter's safety, they're, they're going to call the fight if they see an arm start to get extended. It's not like the pros where you can let it break. Shout out to the Autos MMA team getting their first win tonight. A, you know, an impressive, impressive stoppage for sure. Great wrestling, great, great composure. Nice like transition. Got that. And he immediately looks for that good. arm bar. You know, I mean, that chain wrestling mixed with a chain jujitsu is is really hard to fight off, especially when there isn't a lot of sweat happening between the two competitors. Yeah. The drier you are, the easier it is to submit you. Textbook, belly down, arm bar finish. All right, which one was better, that arm bar or a boy going to sleep? I, you know, respectfully, I, I like the standing guillotine. You know, I mean, anytime you, you have to say respectfully, that was automatically guaranteed. There was only one answer. Yeah, 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 absolutely. He I got mean, the tap. That was it with the sleep, bro. You know, and Oswald, you know, I mean, it, it's just one loss. You know, I mean, the one thing you got to do is just go back to the drawing board and just realize, like, that there's plenty of fight ahead of you. You can't let yourself get beaten up. You know, I mean, you just got to embrace, embrace, you know, the, the small details that you realize that you can improve on. Yeah, well, go back to training. You just, you didn't, you didn't see the arm bar. You thought you were in a safe position. I mean... Sometimes it's just that quick. It's not a big deal. It doesn't look about that first debut fight. It's, it's that let's just get it out the way, Philly. And now you can go on and see what you really need to work on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, another incredible fight on this historic epic fighting night here in San Diego. This ends at 40 seconds of the first round. The referee stops the fight due to armbar submission. Your winner, David Grosse! Yeah, I mean, Grosse, you know, had great jujitsu. He really pressed the action, you know what I mean? Good things out of both these guys, you know. I mean, it's got to be really exciting. Um, unfortunately.